In this video, we're going to look at how you drip feed content to clients and to groups of clients. So by drip feed, what I mean is how you set up content that appears in your client's account, let's say in three or four weeks time. So it's setting up content now and you can see it, but your clients won't be able to see it until you set it to go live. So you can drip feed anything over any period of time. Start off with, I'm gonna go into a client dashboard and show you how it works for a single client. If you've already got the item in the client's dashboard, then you can just go to it and select when it goes live. So for example, I'll choose one of my programs and in the drop down, select edit when live. You can put it live now if you want to, inactive now if you want to, or set a date to go live. Click on that. You can select the date when it goes live. So for me, it will be Saturday the 28th of September, and then save. What that now means is under live, it will say not live at the moment, so you've got your cross, but it will come live on the 28th of September. And you will be able to see that when you look at your client's dashboard, as you can here. For your client, they won't see it until the 28th of September when it will, as if by magic, pop into their accounts and into their apps. So that's how you do it for an item you've already put into a client's account. For a new item, just click on add. For this, we'll just add a questionnaire. And again, you select set date to go live, put the date that you want it to go live. So I'll put this on the 29th of September and save. You can then add it to the schedule. So the difference between this and adding to the schedule is that this just sets the date when a client can actually see the item, putting it in the schedule puts it into a calendar view for them. So if you click yes now and schedule it, it will go into a calendar for your clients. If you click no, then it won't. When setting it up inside a group, it's very, very similar, except you get the date option and a days after joining option. So I'll quickly go into a group and show you that. Inside the group dashboard, again, I can find my item if I've already put it into the group and click edit when live. And here you just get the extra option of set time after joining the group to go live. So that simply means if a person joins the group on day naught, 10 days later, for example, they will have it live rather than doing it on a set date. It means you can have your group working anytime, all the time, and people will get things on the same sequence. So for this one, I choose nine days. You've obviously got weeks as an option as well. Leave this box ticked to apply to the group members accounts. If you untick it, then it will just apply to new people into the group rather than current group members. So generally you'd leave it ticked and then save. When adding a new item to the group, it's exactly the same as for the client. So just come over and press add. The only difference is that you will have that extra days after joining option.